Hello guys and welcome back to the manager's journey with me, John, aka Old Man Suda, and we're back with Brackley Town. And I'm starting on a, sort of a comparison between us and our next opponents, because uh, it's obviously a big game, Stockport, who are sort of fighting with us, top of the league and everything like that. And you sort of look at it and you can see we are very, very, very close in um, stats-wise. I mean, you know, wins against top half tables, 11-12, draw 2-1, 3-2. You can see we are extremely closely matched there. They've got a couple more shots with uh, Frank Mulher. Um, Jay Marson there has got 14 goals. They've only had 10 goals. Um, but overall, it just seems like we are extremely, extremely sort of um, well matched up against each other. And really, this game could go anywhere. And to be honest, that could go. I mean, the last time we played them, we beat them 3 2. It was a very close match. It's crazy. You can see here Stockport's fall over the last sort of twenty years as well, which is absolutely crazy to think that you know they were a championship side sort of back in sort of ninety seven, ninety eight around there. Uh, looks like they went down in about oh one, oh two sort of time. So yeah, they've had a a very sort of crazy decline in some ways. You can see here Brackley as well have had a really nice sort of incline. Uh, and really probably are looking to make that next step overall, which is what we're trying to bring them and that. But I just thought it was something interesting to show you. The, you know, you go to this analysing page and there's a lot of things you can sort of see and uh, it's really interesting sometimes to see. As you can see, here's the last game we played against them where we beat them 2-3 away from home, obviously at home today. So uh, we would you'd like to think that we were maybe a little bit more favourites, but it's going to be obviously a difficult one. Uh Apart from that, the only other little thing I have changed, if I go to the overview on the tactics, is I've put us attacking width a little bit more standard so that we're going to be a little bit wider, uh, try and focus a bit more down the flanks and hit those early crosses in, just tweaking it a little bit, trying to see if we can find something just to give us that little bit more of an edge overall. If I go to the competition, you'll see as well, we are in second spot, two points now behind Stockport. We haven't been playing that well at all, really, over the last couple of games. Luckily, Stockport haven't been playing fantastic either. As you can see, we've drawn quite a few games as well. Uh, York are just right behind us, and then there's a little bit of a gap. Uh, the last few games that we had, obviously, I left you after the Telford lost, I think it was. Uh, Ashton, we drew... Well, we lost 2-0 to. It was just a rubbish game. We just didn't turn up, really. Um, it just was one of those games. We then beat Hereford 4-2. To be honest, we should have done a little bit better, but we got the win, which was the most important thing. Armstrong getting a penalty and then a last-minute goal. Uh, Kerry getting a goal and Jeffers won for us. We then played Blythe, who are one of those teams near the top from us as well. Uh, an own goal really sort of didn't help us, but 2 all. Again, we didn't really play fantastic. We didn't play terrible defensively, so we didn't play brilliantly. Uh, Pass, no, obviously getting the own goal didn't help us at all. Obviously, Stockport and Ultram today, both of those very important games for us. I think if we can beat Stockport today and that can kick off a good run towards the end, you know, with, was it 10, 8, 9 games left to go? It's, uh, it's, it's anyone's, game, anyone's sort of, you know, sort of game sort of thing. But, yeah, a win here would obviously do us fantastic. And then I think we've got a nice run in uh, to sort of finish the season off. But we'll see how we get on today. Uh, squad news, there isn't any. Everyone's fit. Everyone's looking good. We're trying to maybe change one or two little things around. But overall, things are looking very, very good for us uh, at the moment. Everyone's fit and uh, looking good. And apart from that, there's not much else really to talk about. It's, it's all going quite well this season. So we're going to get straight into the game, see how we get on. Uh, it's going to be a difficult one, like I said, against Stockport. Really, a game we do want to win. Stockport are favourites slightly, if I remember correctly. Um, but I feel like we could do have enough. We could get something out of this still. Uh, Brian, we're going to turn you into a box-to-box. -box. There we go. Um, but this is the team we're going to go It's pretty much the strongest team we could probably put out. It's going to be Dorber. It's going to be Williams, Van Dean and Patterson. Uh, Squire and Blight are there. James... Kerry on the left, Armisen and Nidvu uh, up front. In fact, I'm going to change Nidvu for Jeffers. I prefer Jeffers. I think he's better and we can put him as a pressing forward support. And I just feel like he does a bit more up there for us overall. So we'll see how we get on. It's going to be a very difficult game. It's really going to be a difficult game. But if we can win it, it'll be absolutely bloody fantastic. Uh, and probably I, I would like to think it would give us a real kick up to the sort of 
winning the winning the league and getting into that next uh you know getting promoted and getting into that next higher tier sort of thing uh always to you we'll put you on weaker foot as well and tackling hard um and we'll weaker feet the two wingers as well uh, let's see how hopefully we can do quite well here let's see how we get on passionately what can we say this was one for the fans uh, it's not done really much so we'll give them a passionate talk and we will get into the game and hopefully we can get a win i mean i'd love it if we can beat these here because it would mean be, be such a big win for us and like i said it really would put on the league table let's actually get the league up so we can actually see it as well uh coming towards the business end it's difficult uh all the games are big really but this is the one we really want to try and win it looks like it's uh stockport where maybe a chance but we do still armison now with a ball gets it out to squire what's squire going to do gives it to Brian. Brian to Armisen. Armisen gets tackled though and Mohen with the ball now comes forward. We do tackle really well though and Van now with the ball. What can we do here? Big ball forward. Can we get in there? We can't. Duxbury is going to get there and he lets Stevenson free. Stephen cuts inside, comes forward. We do close him down but not enough. Warburton now gets a chance and finds the net and we go 1-0 down five minutes in. Matthew Warburton with the goal. We just didn't close him down quick enough and unfortunately... They go ahead. I mean, Stevenson does well here. Warburton's got so much room. Dunham closes him down, and it's a free shot almost for him. Just a poor defending by us. Not good enough. Not good enough at all. This is highlight straight after the kickoff. Maybe this will be us getting one back. Hopefully, it'd be lovely if we can. And my phone goes off. Sterling with the ball now. What's he going to do? Cuts inside to Brian. Brian. Gets it out to Armisen. Armisen can get to Jeffers. Jeffers puts it into Kerry. Kerry hits the bar. We were so close. And Patterson's going to collect that. And it's the end of the highlight. I mean, we are having shots. We just need to turn them shots into on target and on into goals at the moment. I mean, dropping down to third the way it's going. Walker with a free kick for Stockport. Puts it in. And it just goes wide as my phone starts buzzing everywhere 22 23 minutes gone york have gone one nil up which is not good they almost score again with a free kick we do clear the ball finally um and we're just not getting into this match we've got a chance possibly here free kick puts it in it's a goal get in there brian shane brian with the goal get in there oh, you're three nil up as well shane brian i mean i wasn't expecting that to go in it looked from, from a far uh, way out but a good I mean the keeper should have done better the keeper should have done better but we'll take it it's one all we will take it and to be honest I think we do deserve to be there uh, York, we said 3 nil up a minute ago York now 2 nil up there's a free kick though to Stockport they put the ball in and Dorbert dives on it quite quickly uh, Van now with the ball gives it to Dean who gets it out to Armisen who's got a bit of room here Armisen gets the ball to Jefferson Jefferson maybe one on one a little bit he gets tackled unfortunately it's a penalty Armisen with the penalty for us this could put us in the lead just 10 minutes before half time. Armisen stands up. He puts it in the back of the net. Get in there. 2 1. This is what we want. Armisen's 19th goal of the season. Yes, you beauty. This is what we needed. Now, can we kick on and maybe even get a third? Armisen, good penalty as well. Sent the keeper the wrong way. Absolutely bloody brilliant by us. 37 38. 39 minutes gone. And we are top of the league again. A point clear as it would stand. Walker will make those changes i pressed the buttons too many times and it looks like we're going to come into half time one nil up even game as you would expect though like i said you i showed you the stats we are a very evenly matched sides so this is really good for us we just need to keep going who's not playing particularly well sam squire is not playing great for us um as well as sterling james as well so there's a couple of people we may need to look at we'll give them a chance for a little bit but we're going to maybe have to make a few little changes. One or two players not playing absolutely fantastic at the moment. Uh, 46 minutes gone. And we've maybe got a chance here. Williams with the th uh, throw-in. Gives it. Can he get across? And he does. Jeffers. Oh, he just couldn't direct it past Heathcliff. And that could have been a really good chance for us. As we come forward now, the highlights carrying on. Mohen gets it, but we do tackle him. And Van gets the ball, gets it to Jeffers. What's Jeffers going to do? Knocks it off to Kerry. Kerry comes forward, gets it to Armisen. Armisen's got a little bit of room, knocks it back to Squires. Squires now to Kerry. And we're passing it quite nicely. Can we create that little bit of a room? That's what we try and do. Armisen with the ball, takes a shot. Also, God, the curl on that hits the bar. 
Uh, wasn't expecting the, that sort of curl. We've got a throw in here. Armson gives it back to Patterson. Patterson to Brian. Brian to Sterling. Sterling's got a bit of room. Gets a cross in. It doesn't really go anywhere. And Warburton picks it up. And it might be Stockport who can break. Mohan with the ball now. Comes in. Cuts inside. Takes a shot. And it's a poor one. Dorber gets the save. And it's a corner to Stockport. I mean, every chance seems like there's something happening at the moment. Can we clear it? We do. Armson gets it out to Jeffers. Jeffers collects it and that's the end of the highlight. 56 minutes gone and still it's anyone's game. Really we could do with another goal. We're going to make a few changes. One or two players. Sterling James not playing well at all. We'll bring on Baker for him at the moment. Uh, who else is not playing? Sam Squire is not playing fantastic. Let's bring on Adam Walker for you. Uh, and we'll leave it at that for now. Just changing a couple of players. New not playing maybe particularly well. Brian now with a free kick puts it in. Dean gets there. Kerry, get in there. 3-1. Own goal. It was Lewis Baines actually scored it. I thought it was Kerry who got the ball. Uh, he's probably going to claim it. But 3-1, absolutely bloody fantastic. Brian with a great deep free kick. Uh, Dean crosses it back over or headers it back over. And I think Baines went to smash it one and somehow volleyed it back into his net. That looked really stupid on the highlights. <laughs> that looked like he was taking an excellent volley for... Um, us 76 minutes gone 77 and we are free one up things are looking really well at the moment gives us that point lead which would be absolutely fantastic uh gives us a really good opportunity to keep a bit of lead but there's a chance now as they put a free kick in and it just is wide uh 89 90 minutes it looks like this is going to be game they've got one more corner uh as we can hopefully clear it brian does clear the ball and surely that is it there's 10 seconds left a win here is absolutely massive for us. Patterson gets the ball there. Baker now gets it out to Kerry. And that is it. We do win it 3-1. A really good win for us. A really important win. As I said before, as you look at it, it's a very even game. Really could have gone either way. A little bit more luck their way. They could have maybe won this game. Well done, lads. Performance puts us top of the table. Hand it over to the assistant. We can't really say much more than well done, really, at the moment. We've got the Ultram game in a week's time. Uh, as you can see, York now into second spot. We'll fast forward to the Ultram game, guys. I will see you in a second. Right, guys, so we've made a couple of changes for the Ultram game. Uh, Franklin's coming in on the left. Miles is coming in out on the right for us. Walker's coming in back into the centre. And we're going to put Lee Niv Nidlevu up front. Uh, just changing things around, trying to keep some legs fresh and everything like that. I think we've got a very strong squad, so... Um, especially sort of like the sort of uh, sub bench. So it's nice to sort of swap one or two players around, give a couple of players a little bit of a rest and that sort of thing. And we should do reasonably well. It should be okay. Uh, it's going to be another game we really do want to win. It's going to be a difficult one, but a game we really should be winning as well. Uh, Ultron and down in mid table really should be. They've won the last three of their five though. Um, so it's going to be a bit more difficult. Maybe what can we say? Uh, we could secure the payoffs as well. If we, with a win so that's something that would be really important for us uh we'll give them a passionate talk here and just see how we get on i mean securing playoffs would be fantastic in this episode obviously the the league looks like it might come down to the wire almost as uh we'll put you on a weaker foot we'll hard and always uh you weaker foot tackle hard and tight mark uh and we will we could feed you two as well and let's kick off and see how we get on away from home gonna be a difficult game but a game again I do feel like we really should be winning uh, as Dean picks up the ball here it was a free kick though uh, Thompson was shoved by Van and we have a goal kick Dean with the ball now what can we do here we give it out to Miles who gives it back to Dean not much really happening. Lean the food gets there, gets it to Armisen. Armisen's got a bit of room here, gets it back to Kerry. Kerry, can he get across? And he doesn't. Takes the shot. Get in there. Luke Kerry with the goal. I mean, it looked like it trickled in a little bit. Probably keeper should have done a little better. But 1 minute 30 seconds in, and we've scored a goal. Armisen gets the ball here, does really well. Lays it back to Luke Kerry. Kerry, I mean, he's miles out. He should never be taking shots. Maybe from there he could. Uh, and maybe the the rain has helped a little bit and made the ball skid in. We'll give him credit for it. Uh, keeper probably should have done a little bit better. But we'll take it. It's a 1-0 lead at the moment. Uh, who's Stockport playing? Stockport got Ashton and York got FC United, which are uh, two big games for them. Uh, as Olsen come forward now, they get out to Paul out wide. Paul puts a cross in. We do just about clear it. Hits the bar. They, they managed to get a shot in the end. And, oh, York are losing, which is a big result for us there. 
Uh, Harris now, though, with the corner, puts it in, and Dorber does collect it. I mean, a win here could be huge for us at the moment. Armisen has been booked. We'll make sure he doesn't get sent off. Van with the ball gives it out to Kerry. Kerry now with a bit of room puts it to Walker. Walker to Armisen. Armisen gets tackled though and Hancock now can try and break for them. Hancock comes forward. He gets it to Thompson. Thompson gets it somehow to... They somehow they go through and they hit the bar. But Sterling could break here. Sterling with a, maybe a cross. He's going by himself. Puts in a little cross but it's really not anything and it goes out for a throw in. I mean... Ocean seem to be getting into this game at the moment, so we've got to be a bit careful. We're going to demand a little bit more. We've got a free kick here. Oh, Bayern done that in the last game. Has done it again. I mean, again, that's from so far out. It's crazy to think that's gone in. Brian, though, great free kick. The keeper should have done a lot better. It even looked like the keeper might have even got a hand to it and punched it into the net. 2-0, we'll take it. I mean, it is what it is. Kerry now gets a chance. He breaks, gets tackled. Is that a red card? It could be for Mount. Mount could be getting sent off for Ulchenham. It looks like he is. It is his second yellow card. They are down to 10 men, and you'd like to think that this would mean now that we are going to be fully in control of this game. As we have a chance here, Franklin to Walker. Walker to Armstrong. Armstrong's got a bit of room. Switches it all the way to Miles. Miles now comes in, crosses it to Kerry. Kerry with a shot and can't quite find the net. And with five minutes of the half left to go, we are obviously going to be cruising a little bit. We steal the ball. Lee Nidfield now with the ball. Can he get a pass here? Gives it to Franklin. Franklin out on that side just holds it up a little bit. Franklin again not wanting to push too far forward. Gives it to Kerry. Kerry can push forward though and finds Brian now to Armisen. Armisen with a shot and it just goes over. A minute or so left to go in the half and it's going. Uh, Colin Franklin suffered a bruised shin. Might need to come off. We'll have a look and see what it is. We're in control. You'd expect it. We're up a man. Uh, Franklin is slightly injured not too seriously though so we'll leave him on just for now but we'll maybe keep an eye on him and make a change very very soon apart from that Dean not having the best of games neither is Lee Nivu. Uh we'll maybe change them as well at some point but I think at the moment all we can do is keep things as they are and say passionately I'm very pleased with how you're doing we're 2-0 up. There's nothing to really worry about. Walking out of van, and is this just a normal highlight? It is. Hopefully, the second half will be quite quick for us as well. I'd like to see just win the game, get it over and done with, to be honest. 60 minutes coming in. We'll maybe look at making a few changes very soon. Paul now to Jones, and it's Olsen coming forward, and they get a goal back. Max Harrop with the header. And I love it. They're down to 10 men, and they, have, they seem to get a better chance than the... And, you know, when they had 11. Jones, though, with a deep cross. And Har Harrop gets the ball. I mean, we should have maybe defended a little bit better. And that's a bit of annoying. We're going to make a few substitutions. One or two players not playing. Van's not playing. Fantastic, actually. A 6.4. Uh, we don't really have anyone. Franklin could go in the centre. And we can bring Williams out on the left. Uh, it's not ideal, but it, we, we can do it. Uh, Nuvu is coming on. Jeffers is coming on for him anyway. And apart from that, we'll leave it as it is for now. 60 minutes gone, and I really don't want them getting back into this game. We're going to demand a little bit more. Williams collects it. What can he do here? Gives it to Kerry, gives it to Walker, back to Williams, to Kerry. I think I swear it, he does to Armisen. Armisen got a bit of room, moves forward to Williams. Williams comes in with a cross to Brian. Brian to Sterling. Sterling with the goal. 3 1. Get in there. Nicely worked goal for us. That's what we needed. That surely gives us the win today with 30 minutes left to go, 2-0 up and a man up. You'd think that we are going to win this. Williams, though, switches it really nice to Brian, or gets to Brian in the middle, who has a bit of time. And Sterling couldn't miss from there, really. And it was an easy goal. 62 minutes gone. And we are, why are they showing this again? Oh, offside. Uh, it wasn't offside. We're miles onside. You could have fitted a bus along that lane uh, 62 minutes gone and have we got maybe a chance for another one here as Armson collects it now and comes forward knocks it out to Kerry uh, a bit of a wayward pass but Kerry does manage to get there and what Williams puts it in can't quite get there Walker now with a chance maybe Sterling it hits the keeper was it or the bar anyway it's shot up in the air 65 66 minutes gone and we can make another change soon, I think. Just try and waste a little bit more time. Harris now gives it to Stortland as Olsenham have the ball. And maybe we'll be trying to come forward again. Hampston with the ball gives it back to Staunton. Harris 
Uh, they're just passing it out the back here, looking to create a bit of room, aren't they? They pass it back to the keeper, Wade, who is bringing it out slowly. Do we get the ball back here? We can't quite, and it's gone back to how it was. We get the ball now, Walker with it, and he gives it to Kerry. Kerry comes forward, cuts inside to Bind. Sterling. Sterling's got a little bit of room, gets it to Bind. Kerry, Kerry with the shot, and it's just wide. And with 20 minutes left to go, I think it's time we make our last change. Um, no one saying particularly bad or anything like that. I'm going to bring off Sterling. I'm going to bring on Daniel Neat. I just feel like we should give him a game. He hasn't had one for a little bit. Give him 20 minutes. Uh, hopefully keep him a little bit happy. But overall, we're doing well. We've got a free kick. Brian puts it into the box. And it's just straight at them. Uh, Brian gets a second chance here. Unfortunately, can't do anything with it. And Harris can come forward. Franklin cuts it out, though. And now Walker comes forward. Can't quite find any room. Can he get back to Franklin? He does. Franklin now moves it back to Walker. We just created a little bit of space. Walker gets past one, gives it to Brian. Brian with a shot, and again, it's just wide. I mean, we could have had another three or four goals here, it feels like. Uh, but then again, you could say maybe the same with They should have had maybe one or two more good efforts. Walker, though, got a bit of room here. Gets it out to Williams. Williams can get a cross in. Williams puts the cross in as they just about clear it. And again... A really good opportunity for us. Uh, we've got a corner now. Walker puts it in to the boards the back of the post. Dean's going to collect it. Gives it out to Armstrong. He might knock it out wide. No, he puts it back in the middle. Brian to Miles. He gives it finally out wide to Walker. Walker, can he get across? And he gives it to N Nilt. Nilt, what's he doing? He puts it back to Dean. And we are sort of playing the wrong way at the moment. Brian now to Armstrong. Armstrong with a chance. And again, it's just wide. Uh... And it'd be nice just to get that extra goal. Uh, what's still happening here? FC United and York are drawing. And we're Stockport. Stockport, I can't see their score. It's gone back to highlight. Walker with the ball now. What's he going to do here? Gives it to Daniel Nitt. Gets tackled, unfortunately, or can't quite get to the ball. Piggott somehow gets there. We're a bit slow on sort of getting the ball. And now Harris gets a shot. And Harris with a hell of a goal. Last kick of the game, pretty much. Callum Harris with a thumper of a goal. We gave him too much space here. Piggott held up the ball quite well, gave it to Harrop. Harrop then squares it to Harrison. And Harrison's got so much room again. Very similar to their other goal, I guess. Oh no, their other goal's ahead of sorry, the goal for Stockport, worth not it? We gave him too much room and they score. Again, we've got a corner. Can we get a goal here? No, we can't. Walker with the ball. Gives it to Kerry. Kerry puts another cross in and it's a free kick. Jeffers pushed Staunton. But surely that's time. Surely it is. We do get the win. A bit of a hard fought one. I just wanted to see how did Stockport get on? Um, I'm sure I saw the 1-0 they won in the end. Uh, we didn't do too bad. Could have done a little bit better. I felt like we just, a little bit at the end. We'll say passionately well done because we won the game. Uh, that should secure a playoff position for us as well, which is huge. Uh, obviously, we'd like to finish second if we do get play. If we end up in playoffs, we want to finish second because you get a bye through to the next part. Uh, as, let's have a look. Finish display ensures practically brilliantly. Team secure playoffs. Uh, us and Stockport have both secured playoff spots at the moment Kerry shines and I will praise him in a minute um, there was some, I mean York losing was probably the biggest result there competition wise what's that put us one point clear of Stockport three points clear of York four points clear of Ashton I mean it's so close between these four teams a win and a, a couple of loses and you could be right out of it a couple of wins and you could be right in it so it's a it's a crazy league at the moment and it's really close. We just need to keep on trying to play along and winning as many games as we possibly can overall. Uh, there isn't many games left to come back, actually. I mean, we've got two more this month and then we get towards the end of the season. Um, what I'm going to say is I'm going to play the games up to the Chester and FC United games, the last two games of the season, unless we're going to win the league. If, if results go crazy and we somehow are going to win the league at Boston or something like that, I'll obviously bring that game to show us winning the league, hopefully. But at the moment, it's looking a bit like that it's going to go down to the wire. So I think the Chester and FC United games could be huge for this uh, this season. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, tweet this save out to your friends on Twitter and all that sort of stuff. I'd love to get a load more, get a lot more hype about this. I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. Um, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.